So I'm so glad to see what we've got going on here. So I'm with the Tacoma chapter of Jewish Voice for Peace. Let me say also we're very happy as the Tacoma chapter of Jewish Voice for Peace to be co-sponsoring today along with several other groups from Tacoma. Um, Jewish Voice for Peace does a lot in various parts of the issue, including we want to end the occupation, a lot of work there. Also the issue of refugees um, getting to return home if they want or to be compensated if they don't. A very important part of Jewish Voice for Peace is a foreign policy based on international law, on human rights, democracy, those principles that we all hold so dear. And I want to talk a little, I'm going to go into a little detail about the international law piece that Craig was talking about. Nobody in Israel has been held accountable for Rachel's death. And all we're asking, all we're saying is enforce the law. Sadly, there's a long history of Israel acting with impunity. I was saying the other day it started, it seems, with when in resolu UN Resolution 194 said you can, Israel can come into the UN if, and only if, the Palestinian refugees can return home or be compensated. And they haven't done that, so all we're asking is enforce the law. Turn the page. Ah, so in Rachel's case, the judge said that nobody was responsible because it was an act of war. And when I heard that, I thought, hmm, there were these Nuremberg trials after World War II where, in, and where individuals were held accountable for their actions in war. The whole point of Nuremberg was to create law that would hold individuals accountable, even if they'd been ordered to do what they did. And Robert Jackson, the um, prose chief prosecutor of Nuremberg, who was from the US, said during those trials that if the people who were prosecuting those Nazis weren't held accountable in the future to the same standard, then the whole thing was a charade. It's a real irony because because the whole point of Nuremberg was to find, I mean, it's, it's interesting, isn't it, that it was to find Nazis guilty of the Holocaust. And then here, the, the state of Israel is thumbing its nose at Nuremberg because Nuremberg says individuals who commit a crime of international law are responsible and liable to punishment. And one of the war crimes, the, there's crimes of war, crimes of peace, and crimes against humanity in Nuremberg. And one of the crimes of war is murdering a civilian in occupied territory. That's in quotes, murder of civilian in occupied territory. So um, Israel has, for all intents and purposes, thumbed their noses. And what I'm so thankful for Cindy and Craig in pursuing this appeal is that, again, we're going to try and hold Israel accountable, because all we're saying is enforce the law. Thank you.